We've all seen uh, Hollywood's portrayal of some sort of drug smuggling. For me, I always go back to the movie Blow, uh, featuring Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz, and uh, you know all the um, all the great lengths that he went to to smuggle the cocaine into the United States. Or I guess it started with marijuana, then moved to cocaine. So there's always uh, there's always some good drug smuggling story or Hollywood adaptation of some good drug smuggling story. Uh, in fact, in our industry, there's a drug smuggling story that ended up with animal smuggling. So today, we actually have a story about a Florida uh, a Florida turtle trafficking ring. So we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and if you want to know the story in the reptile industry, uh, send me an email. I don't know that I'm really ready to like blast that one out there yet. But uh, there's a book. Uh, what was the book called? Lizard King. Lizard King. Lizard King. Yeah, yeah. check out Lizard King. So uh, anyway, welcome to episode 12 of TDI Live. Today is October 23rd, 2019. Got a few things coming up for you. A little update on TDI. We've got our reptile industry story of the, uh, the turtle smuggling ring, turtle and tortoise smuggling ring. We're going to talk about frogs and toads giving you warts. And we've got kind of a fun conspiracy for you, which I have a feeling Bill and I can really, really solve today. And uh, Heather's got a pretty neat game. So uh, anyway, I am Matt. And I am Bill. And I'm Heather. And you're listening to TDI Live. Just like fireworks Just like fireworks Just like fireworks Just like So what's new in the world of tie-dyed iguana? Uh, let's see. This last weekend, we had our pumpkin patch. It was a huge success. I discovered that I was allergic to straw, apparently. Upon moving. Really? Dude, I don't know. So I moved all the straw back and had like this allergy extravaganza. Because did, did you have that effect last year? I don't remember. But it cleared up. And then yesterday, I worked in the sulcata tortoise pen and allergy extra, uh, extravaganza. I don't know if you huh. can hear it in my voice. But I had to take Sudafed yeah, at 5 a.m. and then Dayquil. And yeah, it sounds like you're kind of... Yeah, I feel like ass right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Poor Matt. Look like an ass, too, don't That's I? That's crazy. But Because um, I don't remember you getting sick from it last year. Not unless there's just something where they got the straw or something. Maybe there's... Fungus. Fungicide. Or wait, that would be something that kills fungus. Fungaloid. <laughs> it's fungaloidal straw. Maybe it's the stuff that's causing the zombie deers. Maybe. I don't know. But either way, pumpkin patch went well, but the straw and I did not agree. Um, we have judging this upcoming Saturday. Uh, it'll be at 11 a.m. with a prizes awarded at 11.30. I've got a box of trophies sitting behind me, which is pretty cool. It has Tide Out Iguana's logo on it and a pumpkin on the top of it. Um, we also had our staff Halloween party this last weekend. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think the, uh, <laughs> I'd say the newest development at TDI was somebody discovered these obscenely <laughs> loud, like, snap pops that came from Alabama or something. I know that seems like a dumb thing to share, but... It's actually been quite hilarious. So at our meetings this last Sunday, Jenny hands me something, and it looks like a firecracker without a fuse. Have you seen these yet, mm-hmm. Bill? No? It literally looks like a firecracker without a fuse. And she's like, it's a snap pop, like the little paper ones you throw. I'm like, whatever. So she's like, throw it. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, it's literally a firecracker without a fuse. I threw it. Boom! It's like ten times louder than the usual I ones. instantly got online and ordered a case. <laughs> I found well, a case I thought I'd boxes. seen... Th- on the floor this morning. Looks like firecracker paper, doesn't it? No, yeah. it looks like the, the regular snap and pops. Little the little white thing with really? the okay. little twisty thing. Well that's what it looked like. Oh I don't know. On the floor. What may Not unless have, somebody had some of those yeah, as well. That may have gone down after the fact. But uh, so then yesterday Grace shows up with a similar box of firecrackers and uh she took it to the extreme and booby trapped the store and what was she doing? Like putting them on top of doors and Not stuff? Not where customers could get to them. No, but, but you know, just yeah. places to give the staff panic attacks. Yeah, <laughs> like me. Yeah, well, you're pretty easy to give a panic attack to. Remember when I lit that starter fluid over your shoulder? Yes, I kn- that that was that was. You started instantly like eating pills. You're just like <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's just anti anxieties. It's okay. I, it oh, be... Heather, we love you. I'm sorry. I know I give you. I know I give you the worst anxiety of your life. I should probably be on that stuff too, but the doctor won't give it to me. Yeah. Do I give you anxiety? No. I give Heather not anxiety. Not anymore. No, not anymore. No. I give me anxiety. Bill, Bill stopped smoking. That's why he's. Yeah, how, how long are you clean now? Actually, tomorrow will be four weeks. Very nice. 
Did yeah. you miss it yet? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. They say, like, if you quit smoking, like, returning to it. And I did it, it cold turkey. I was going to try the vaping thing. And uh, I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. And I just quit. Was there any and withdrawal? every now and then I get, like, these urges just automatically, you know, it's just like, I need a cigarette. And there are certain times of the day where I normally smoke, like, driving. I always smoke cigarettes. First thing in the morning when I wake up, I smoke a cigarette. After I eat, I smoke a cigarette. Um, and then occasionally throughout the day, I'll just go out and smoke a cigarette. Because, I, I mean, I smoke, it takes me, like, four minutes to smoke a cigarette, and I don't really smoke the whole cigarette all the way down to the. I've noticed that how, how you how you you know you see some of those people that smoke like you know uh, about a quarter inch into the filter, yeah. <laughs> and the I I put usually put mine out like you know about an inch before the filter. Have so you ever I thought guess, about donating your unsmoked cigarettes to a smoker in need? I don't have any. You don't have any smokers in need? Well, no, I don't have no cigarettes. Oh, what about all those cigarettes you threw away? There's smokeless kids in third world countries that would kill oh yeah probably literally kill yeah for that have you ever seen that video online <laughs> my kid was dying for a cigarette yesterday and he's he said he's, he's, he goes y'all may have to just go out and start looking for a cigarette butt so i can roll my own cigarette <laughs> oh man <laughs> he was stressing <laughs> oh geez all right well that's what's happening in tdi bill quit smoking firecrackers the size of your thumb and uh Straw. We used Straw. to have M80s. So yeah. we had we had really cool like cherry bombs and stuff. Fireworks well, when I was a kid, but they made a lot of that illegal because you know kids were blowing their hands and fingers off. Yeah, that was before that was before the radio, wasn't it? And you yeah, guys really had nothing to do. Pretty much. Um, man, I see. So back to the firework thing. I know I was trying to move on, but that's okay. I digress. So uh, you know, a couple of years ago, when our team was much smaller than it is now, like literally two or three years ago, our team was like six strong, and now it's you know, I think when you count everybody, we're twenty right now. Like everybody, including education. Anyway, um, used to be a very different world, and I remember we had a thing where we would take strings of firecrackers, and when someone was in the bathroom taking a dump, we would slide it under the door and light it. Like we were doing it to Tanner and Sean and Eric and. <laughs> yeah. And you can't do a damn thing. I mean, you're sitting in there taking the dump, and all of a sudden, just flies under the door. Yep. All you can do is That's just horrible, <laughs> dude. All you can do is ride, ride it out. And it would be so smoky. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys aren't laughing, but you, this never happened to you. You would open the door, and it was just like a cloud. Just why don't poop? I saw it here. happen one time. <laughs> oh yeah, so I um, I'm a home pooper. I gave uh, Eric the green light to do that to one person here. In the very near future. I said, Eric, because he still has a string of them left. I was like, you got the green light. So we'll see if it happens. You'll know it when it happens. It'll be worth it. All right. Anyway, that's what's going on at TDI. So, Heather, tell us about this story. What's going on with this uh, turtle smuggling? Okay. So, now, it was only two guys, but they were post uh, busted. So that's not really a ring. That's a line. Well, well, they the smuggling they line. were the yeah they were the people <laughs> that were providing it to everybody. It says two men were busted for poaching more than four thousand Florida turtles worth two hundred thousand dollars, and they would uh, sell them overseas through the black market to make money. Oh, really? So yeah. they were yeah literally taking them out of the country. It's not like native smuggling per no. se, where you you know like in Illinois you can't sell native species, so people will catch them in Illinois, drive to Missouri, and sell them. And they go, like, oh, mm-hmm. it was imported. Yeah by the same guy that caught it. Did it name the people? Um, Not a big no, deal. It didn't. I'm just genuinely It didn't curious. name them, no. So, well, uh, and then there's there's certain types of turtles, I'm sure, in Florida that are protected. So it was oh, probably sure. the ones I have that the list. you can't get. I have the list yeah, but what of were they? they had Florida box turtles, striped mud turtles, Gulf Coast spiny soft shell turtles, and diamondback terrapins. Yeah. Terrapin. I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if, any of those are in danger. I have no idea if any of them are protected. I've, you know. The box turtles probably, um, I'm not sure about the Gulf Coast spiny, because I know they have Florida soft shells that they sell babies. Now, it might could be a different species with, you know, a smaller, limited uh, natural range yeah. that could make them protect, you know, protected or threatened or whatever. Yeah, there's a, but, um, man, it's crazy. There's no, money turtles in are, turtles are, and tortoises are a huge, huge black market um, item, especially like 
like the radiated tortoises, star tortoises, a lot of the South African tortoises. Sure. Because you can't get them. They're not in the hobby, you know, other than captive bred ones. And, you know, some of those are thousands of dollars, especially oh, radiated. Yeah. And they're they're a, they're a federally protected, so they're in danger. So, so you have them. to have uh, yeah, CITES permits and stuff for for those. And uh, It's crazy. Have yeah. you ever read The Lizard King? No. Since we talked about that I've, earlier. I've heard. Have you ever read it, Heather? No. Parts no. Of it. <laughs> so, uh, man, if you guys get around to it, you should check it out. But uh, it talks about um, a very dominant member of the reptile industry that uh, I guess they started by smuggling cocaine. It was like him and his dad. And then it turned into, um, you know, smuggling endangered species. And it wasn't just reptiles. It was like tigers and stuff. And, you know, now um, these guys are supposedly running a legitimate business. I don't know. I, I used to have are. a price list from him from 1974. There's I cocaine can't... on there. I have it like turtles, ball pythons. No, cocaine. I mean there was stuff on there Fairly. that. I mean, well, they you were wouldn't even know what they then. were, you know, because they got busted. Yeah, and see, this was like right, 1974 is like right at that year to where they started um, putting stuff on endangered lists and stuff. Yeah. So it was like it was that gray area where they still. So it was a free for all. Yeah, and uh, and I guess they knew that they were getting ready to. I mean, 1974, of, that's the year you retired, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right around there. Yep. <laughs> it was my 200th year at the uh, at the fireworks factory in China. <laughs> Which is on the bottom of the flat earth. Yep. <laughs> Bill dug a hole up <laughs> to come here. Yep. I smuggled myself. So would that China. be digging a hole up? I guess not, because if you're digging a hole up, then there'd have to be ground under your feet. And if you're underneath the flat earth and the earth is above well, you... Well, when you get so far, you know... Gravity switches. It switches and it just kind of like sucks you up. Or down. Oh, here yeah. we the go. Ground. <laughs> um, yeah, don't smuggle turtles, boys and girls. Don't smuggle anything. Yeah, don't, I mean, well... Well, the whole thing I is, it's like <laughs> when you put a regulation don't on something, animals. you just created a black market. Yeah, you just drove the price up. When I used to work at the factory, I used to buy black market cigarettes. They didn't have the tax on it. And yeah. I used to buy a carton for 10 bucks. Where would you buy those? Like the parking lot? The parking lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. being sarcastic. No, I really. I picture like some old cartoon with like... No, the guy worked the... at the factory and I knew him real well. And he'd with say, Popeye. hey, man. He goes, I got cigarettes this week. I was like, okay. And I'd go out there and buy about, you know, 10 cartons of cigarettes. Were they in like an unmarked carton? Or did he have his own brand? Was it like no? It was all all different types of brands. Like but the Harry's thing is, they didn't cigarettes. have the the state sales tax, or you know, because most packs of cigarettes have a sales tax stamp on them, and these didn't have. So that. were these like made in a factory, or some dude rolling these them? These were regular, hand? legit cigarettes. How do they avoid the tax? I don't know. Like stole them from the factory, or I something? guess. Yeah, people, huh. I guess, that worked there would steal them, and uh, you know, then they would turn around and sell them. And because back then, like I said, I was paying ten dollars <laughs> for a carton of Marlboro Reds, um, and I think normally back then. Well, that's been back when you could make like twelve cents an hour at your full time job. So ten dollars was a lot of money. Back I'm trying then. to think of how much cig- cigarettes were back then. I know when I quit, um, the cigarettes that I smoked were about eight bucks a pack. Yeah, so four weeks ago. So, yeah, so four weeks ago. <laughs> so September 23rd. Actually, I think it was September 26th. Ah. I think. it was. A, I know it was That's a Thursday. Yeah. So, well, you know, technically it was later in the day on a Thursday. I would say <laughs> 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening is when uh, I so decided. Given that it's uh, 1030 in the yeah, morning. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, we're off. Yeah, it's yeah. not quite. It's like three weeks, six days, and yeah, it's almost, 18 hours. Yeah, it's almost been four weeks. Almost. Soon, Bill. Oh, I tell you what, man. I sometimes I feel like just going to pack, buying a pack of cigarettes, and just saying, "Screw it." You should buy them and then sit out in the parking lot and sell them with no tax. <laughs> Even though <laughs> well, you I can't buy them, I pay tax. Yeah, but you can still sell them without tax and take the hit and just be a nice guy. No, hook people up. I'm not that nice. Yeah, me either. All right. Um, so, <laughs> so let's talk about this reptile myth. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, touching a frog or a toad can give you warts. Um, this is a myth, right? Obviously. You don't get warts from a frog or a toad touching you or you touching it. Not that I um, know of. They're not covered with, like, wart slime. What are they covered with, Heather? It's like, Generally. they usually secrete, they can secrete uh, 
mucus. Mm, what's another word for mucus? Mm. Snot. So, uh, frogs. Well, there's frogs and toads are different. They are. Do, do, yeah, the, the, the toads, they have the dry skin and they have the... Uh, they need to put rub lotion on it. No, they have those <laughs> glands up near their Yeah, a lot of them have those yeah. tufo tendon. The, para- the paratoid glands, I think they're called. Yeah, where they keep the, 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 the poison yeah. slash venom. Yeah. Poison. I guess that's a poison because you're ingesting it. Yeah. Not exactly. Toxin, Unless they like poison. fire it off into an open wound. I, there might mm. be some... Toads that might be able to actually squirt it out, I would think. I'm I not thought sure. the Bufal Avarius could squirt, like, when, when scared. Or, or do they have it to could, be could, like, if you... I thought they could actually... Like, just, if a, a predator bit them, I think that yeah. the pressure net, they could just just release it. And it goes in their eyes and their mouth and stuff, and then it's... You know, so that's, tastes really bad. And, yeah, but then they then they freaking trip out on, like, the wildest hallucination of their life. I mean, is that really a punishment? You would think that maybe these dogs are trying to eat the toad more readily now because, like, they're talking to the other dogs, and the one dog's like, "Hey, dog, you know, you want to get high? Because it's Friday, and you got shit to do." But it's a different type of DM. <laughs> they go and find a toad and pick it up, and he swings it around. And it starts firing off hallucinogens it's a everywhere. Different type of DMT. All though. the other dogs are sitting there with their mouth open, and it's just like a raining down. Bukati well, party. I mean, they do that with <laughs> um, they do that with marine toads. I couldn't resist that. Oh, yeah. way back in the day, they were talking about toad licking. Yeah, oh God. that was like with the marine toads. Do not lick toads. I wouldn't lick. I mean, come on. This is like people that go to. Okay, so I bought spray paint the other day and I got ID'd. And she's like, yes. you might get high off of it. And I'm like, show me the fool that is spraying paint into their nose. I want to meet this guy. Or I knew a girl that used to do it. Paint. Paint. She I was mean, a sniff. She was a hoof. They call them huffers. Well, oh, so okay, that, you, they you sprayed it in a, a bag, right? Yeah, they, they take like a piece of paper towel or whatever. They spray it. And they put it in a bag, like a paper bag, and then they just kind of inhale it, it breathe it point, in and man? out. I can't wrap my head around this. Like, there's so many ways that you can have a mind-altering experience that doesn't Yes, but this girl, she was, and you know what? She a was frog. a very attractive girl. She was, she she had the hots from me majorly, but. <laughs> These we, are the type of women Bill she, attracts. She used to come into the, the, the bar, with and she would bag. come in and sit next to me, and I tell you what, my eyes would start watering because of the glue and the paint that she would sniff, <laughs> and she got the nickname of Gluey the Clown, <laughs> <laughs> because of she had her makeup tattooed on her, so she had like this bright blue tattoo. Oh, she went hardcore. It wasn't oh, just like Oh, yeah, eyeliner. no, she was, but... It, it's clown makeup. I felt so sorry for her, because she was a... Like I said, she was a she was a beautiful girl, and because her face was glued together, I was that's why she so, so tempted to date her just to try to save her. But I, she was too far gone. Yeah, especially on a hot day. When and I get that melts. that's part of my problem. I have that white knight mentality, I guess, and I end up with girls that I you know that are in bad relationships. Oh, I can help you, and blah blah this, you know, and I'll start dating them or whatever. And then it just horrible for me. Yeah, and then on the third just, date, they bust out a can of spray paint, and Bill's like, shit. The, One of them. That or you know you come home and all your crap's gone or yeah, yeah I I don't know so I gave up on all that. <laughs> that was man. We were talking about toads and now we're talking about paint. Talk about hoof and paint. And but uh, don't do it. It's horrible. But you don't. Yeah, no. I come on. Um, yeah. So the 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 frogs. I completely lost my train of thought. They don't give you warts. No. Um They'll pee on you when you pick them oh, up yeah. a lot of yeah, toads. Yeah, they will definitely squirt all They're over They're going to leave snotty mucus on you, and, you know, if the the dog crew comes through, they're going to start slinging poison around yeah. <laughs> and having a party. All right, um, so let's move past that. Uh, let's talk about um, your phone. Your phone is listening to your TV, or your phone is listening to everything that you do. That's, uh, that's what we're going to talk about on Bill's Conspiracy Moment. So, Bill, let's hear it, man, because you're a pretty firm believer in this. Oh, yeah. And I, I, well, I haven't owned a TV in probably 12 years. Yeah. So, but I do have Not a laptop and I do watch, you know, videos and documentaries and stuff like that. But, um, no, I mean, I've heard horror stories, you know, about people b- being able to hack into your phone and, uh, been able to hack into your camera to turn it on to where they can see you they and your NSA microphone and, and hear you and uh there's a really bill so 
Ah, <laughs> there is there goes this phone again. I love it, man. This is the no, I think it's time. great. Okay, let it keep going. No. Oh man, it's I like that song. Number. Yeah, it's you should have answered it. I forgot to ask if everybody had their phones turned off. I thought off I beforehand. did, but apparently no. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. So there's like these guys in Rotary where their phone will start ringing and they let it ring. Like they let it ring out and like we're saying a prayer or doing like it's freaking dead quiet and it just keeps ringing and ringing. It's like, dude, turn it off. Well, Bill, you're not talking about like people having access to your phone. You're saying that your phone is listening to your TV and it's basically showing you ads based on. Well, your that's life. what I think. That's what this is saying. But I'm, I'm. Are we changing it? Are we? Is this? A well, different no. Conspiracy? This was. This has got something to do with it. But um, there was. Do you, are they watching you on your phone right now while you're talking about this? I don't know. They could be. Is the SWAT team going to show up at your house or here? Probably not, because my phone's probably a little bit older. Yeah. <laughs> my phone's like seven years old, so. Yeah, it's an original. Yeah. <laughs> you got, you got but no, but I mean, I've heard of people having like the, the Siri and the Alexis where. We have, a, we have one in here right now. It's watching me. They, uh, well, I'm sure it's recording. Awesome. Too. Well, then, see, that's cheating because now they're going to get the podcast before everybody else. Right. I'm going to write a letter. Because I, I've heard concern. of Bullshit. people <laughs> having their conversation, their private conversation automatically just sent to somebody on their contact list and saying, you know, whatever discussion they had, and the person would call them and say, hey, you know, you want to unplug that because I just got your complete conversation about you and your husband talking about getting new floors, you know, or whatever. And, uh, but then again, like you said, like, if you go on your phone or you go online or, or whatever, and you're looking at something either on Amazon or, or wherever, you'll get these um, these ads post up. Like if you go on Facebook or something, then you get all these ads for whatever you were looking at. I searched for a pair of shoes on Google, and it showed up on this news website that I was looking at. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, look, the same shoes I wanted to buy. Yeah, it's like trying to push you to get to buy that because i've been wanting to buy a pair of solomon boots and it's like up oh, it's good hey look at your look at facebook right now you're gonna have an ad because you just said solomon boots <laughs> yeah i'd laugh but awesome it's like i see them all the time you know it's like if i if i mention them like if i'm talking to somebody or i tell somebody hey you know you look this up or or whatever i'll send a text same thing um i'm gonna put this to the it's to the weird test. it's just I don't think it's I don't that think they're really like big that. consumerism push to. I don't know. It's just to me, it's creepy. So you weird. think my phone's listening to me right now? So yeah. here we go. Unless you got it off. I really want a skateboard. I want nothing more in my life than a skateboard. I don't actually want a skateboard. Even when we'll you're, in, you know, and I've even heard when your phone's so, off, unless you actually physically pull the battery out, that it Probably still takes a can while. record. <laughs> Oh, you don't think it's that instant? Like, I can't go on here all of a sudden? I don't know, do like, it. Oh. Well, I don't happens. have Facebook, though. Uh, yeah. Well, I so. do, but I can't go on at Facebook and me don't get along. Oh, look, not an ad for a skateboard. Oh, well. I'll put it to the test later. We'll, tr- we'll try. I'll start looking. It's kind of like a fun wishing game. I wish for a skateboard. Yeah. If a, sh- a skateboard shows up here from any of our listeners, I don't know how to skateboard, so don't do it. I won't even know what to do with it. I'll use it to move inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Got to move a tank. Hey. Small. Someone fetch the skateboard. Get about so, four of them. If, uh, there was a movie I had seen somewhat recently. I forget what it was, but the guy was NSA. And, uh, yeah, he had access to, like, cameras on laptops and phones and could see all that stuff. There was, And this is a little bit older of a movie cause, called Enemy of, the, Enemy of the State. Yeah, that is a little older. And uh, it had, uh, didn't it have... Um, I don't remember oh who's in it. I I can't remember either. But, yeah, it was... It was pretty intense, and they were kind of downplaying it. Oh, well, this is, you know, this is a movie and this and that. But no, I mean, they have technology out there nowadays that China has all this facial recognition stuff now. And here we go. I'm going to let that one go. Well, no, that's, I mean, that's <laughs> a fact. Why don't we save that for another That's yeah. a fact. Conspiracy That's not corner. a conspiracy. That's a fact. Uh-huh. And, uh, and they're, they're wanting to do that in the States. And well, then basically, it's going to be like a social... Um, credit. That's how you're going to be judged. Your so- social credit score. You know how how well you conduct yourself on social media. Yeah. You know, 
fuck so, that. Yeah, I have no social credit. I have no, no street I, cred. I try not to cuss, but that... Really? I, I do. I, I get I to try, the point. I and that's why I just want to... possible. Huh, some of this crap, I just... That's why I just want to disappear out in the woods somewhere. You want to burn something down? We can go no, burn something no, down. No, I just want to no. disappear. Okay. Yeah. And then burn something down? No. Or burn something down and then disappear? No. So if NSA is watching your phone at all times, do you have any idea... Oh, they record people, all your stuff. How many O faces they've got? <laughs> they have. They have. They. I know some of you guys listening know what I'm talking about. You're staring right into that camera. Look away next time. The. Uh, <laughs> you know all God, your I emails. Myself up. I am so damn hilarious. All your emails, all your phone calls are recorded. This is a known fact. Well, but you see, they would have to play something that says this. The following, you know, phone calls. Being From recorded. what I've heard, every That's... one of them is. And it's just thanks to the Patriot Act, and the, okay, I'm not. I'm gonna shut up right there because it must be safe. Bill it says Patriot in the name, in yeah. Act. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's scare the crap out of a bunch of people so they let us be so invasive on their lives. We need a boogeyman to scare the shit out of the public. So let's make one up. And ta-da, we got one. Well. Luckily, um, I think we have now officially solved whether or not the phone is listening to your television because we didn't even touch that topic. So no, it is. That <laughs> it's not a conspiracy. Right. It is. <laughs> so um, last week we were talking, and uh, we randomly started talking about words we couldn't spell. And so, uh, well, that leads us to this very moment. Heather, what is going on? Oh, yeah. We're going to have a spelling bee. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a F minus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a feeling she didn't choose words. Like, you should see me play Scrabble. I'm like a four and three letter word guy. If I am like on it, I'll get a five letter word. I'll get like circle. No. And I'm just like, whoo, whoo. Used five of my letters. All right. What, uh, let's, so, what are the rules? It's just you're going to say the word. Are we going to take turns spelling them? Or um, you want to give Bill a word and then me a I word? Can, yeah, I can do alternate. All right. Are we allowed to ask for definitions or yes, anything? Yes, of yeah. course. I've got the definitions here. Okay. So. All right. Um, you want to go first? I, it doesn't matter. All right. It's, sure. It's going to be a... I'm going to This is going to be great. I'm excited. I'm a horrible right, speller. Okay. Again. The first word is crustaceology. Crustaceology? Like the study of a crustacean. In, or you, you, you can ask the definition, I bet. What is the definition? <laughs> it's the study of crustaceans such as crabs and shrimp. Oh, yeah. I am the smartest guy in the room, too. C R U S T A C I A L O G Y. Wrong. Oh, I got it wrong. I marked him as a win. I was like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so zero points. And I can see over her shoulder, so I can yeah. cheat, and I could. I, but I'm not gonna do oh, that. Oh, you should have. I would have been. No. I would have been mind fucked. I would have been like, "What is going on here?" Oh, all right. So the correct cheat. spelling was C R U S T A C E O L O G Y. She's kind of hiding the paper now. <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding the paper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's Matt's special word. Oh, it's my special one. Alopecia. <laughs> Alopecia. <laughs> I couldn't say it with a straight face. There's a lot of people wondering why that word makes us chuckle, but that would be for another day. Yeah, See, this is actually really alopecia. embarrassing because uh, I have no idea how to spell alopecia. But you know what? For shits, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, well, I've got the definition. It's you can't the, use it in a sentence. It's the partial or complete loss of hair. So I guess uh, I just want to hear you use alopecia in a sentence. I get dust in my eyes because I got alopecia and I got no eyebrows. <laughs> Or, or you could say, um, the ball python is suffering from alopecia. Yeah. No. Okay, alopecia. <laughs> A-L-O-P-E-C-I-A. Alopecia. You got it. What? You got it. One for Matt, zero <laughs> bell. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, gosh. All right, what do you, what's Bill's? Okay, Man, let's was easy. see. Yours was like crustaceanology. Let's see. I had alopecia. I don't have alopecia. I Let's... dated a girl that had alopecia. Yeah. All right, we'll give you the hardest one on here. Who, Bill? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I have to have you be a pronunciation guy for this one. It's uh, Poco Curanti. Poco Curanti. Yeah. Poco Curanti. Yeah, Poco Curanti. Do you want to know uh, what the definition? is? Sure. Because that'll help you spell it better. It's called uncaring, apathetic, as well as a person with those qualities. Dude, you are Poco Curanti <laughs> through and through sometimes. Me too. Oh my god. This describes us. Just don't give a shit. Oh. P-O... 
P O K. What was it again? Poco. <laughs> Poco Curanti. Like Poco Curanti. Poco Karate. P O K O R A N T Y. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Poco Caranti. <laughs> okay, so the 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 uh, spelling is P O C O C U R A N T E. Okay. I can't even like put that together yeah. in my head. Yeah. Poco Caranti. Me neither. All right, here is Matt's. Uh, his word is flibberty gibbet. Flibberty gibbet. Yeah. So funny thing, I actually use this word on occasion, but I have no idea what it means. Is there a definition? It means a foolish, flighty, and overly talkative person. Huh. You. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Some irony here. Um. All right. So f- flibberty gibbet. F L I B B E R T Y J I B B I T. Flibberty gibbet. Wrong. It is F L I B B E R T I G I B B E T. D I? There's a D in it? No, B G. G. Flibber. Wait, oh. You said J. J. Oh. C. Whoever designed that alphabet, man. The J and the G have the same Did sound. Did you know that the letter J was not in our alphabet until the uh, 1600s? Really? Yep. And why was that? I have no clue. Yeah, somebody was just like, we need something else that sounds like a G. Yes, we need a G. With a dot above it. With a J. And I'll, yeah, we need a... We need a J. Yeah, the a J. G-J. The J was not... A G-I. Yeah. Guy. The topologist. All right. <laughs> What's the next one? All right. We'll do one more for each one of you. Let's see. Let's see. What will Bill get? How about for Bill, connoisseur? I mean, I couldn't spell connoisseur if I wanted to. We have a nutrient that says I know connoisseur it... on it, and I have to Google it every time I order it. <laughs> yeah, I know what connoisseur is. Um, C O. U N. Right. C O N. O. S U R E. Nope. There's like two close. N's, two S's, or something crazy. Uh, yeah, it's spelled C O N N O I S S E U R. Oh, I would never. Con O S. I told you I'm a horrible speller. Yeah, that's why we're doing this because you and yeah. I are both embarrassingly bad at spelling. Yeah, so I'm horrible at it. All right, Matt gets the last word. All right. It's onomatopoeia. Ah, oh, jeez. It's the infamous onomatopoeia. Yeah. Can I have the definition? The formation of a word from a sound associated with what is named. Okay. Onomatopoeia. Fart. <laughs> yeah. Fart or fork? Fart. Fart. <laughs> fart. Fart would be an onomatopoeia. Yeah. It's the sound that a letter makes. Or like fart. sizzle. Or, yeah. there's, a, there's a fart letter in the alphabet. Yeah, we added fart in the 1800s. No, it's, a, a, it's like a word that sounds X, like what it means. Y, Z, fart. A word that sounds like what it means. Right. Like well, sizzle or... Fart doesn't always... The word... I mean, man, there's so many different kinds of farts. Like, what about the really... Like, the... Like, that doesn't really sound like a fart. It or the one-cheek like sneak. Yeah. Or the bat crawler. <laughs> uh, Onomatopoeia. Oh, shit. O-N-O-M-O-N-O-P-I-A. Onomatopoeia. No. No, it's O N O M A T O. Is a T in it? P O E I A. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. See, I didn't hear the T. I would have gotten that. Well, I, I when you say you it, when you it. pronounce it like onomatopoeia, it's onomatopoeia. It's like a tomato. Yeah, but when it's you say onomato. it, it, you don't pronounce it. Have you ever had an onomato? Tomato, tomato, onomato. P O. All right. Um, wow. I got one right. I got zero <laughs> alopecia. right. Alopecia. Yeah, alopecia <laughs> was kind of an easy one, but uh, I probably would have got that one wrong too. I I uh, I know what you were doing with that. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So uh, thanks for listening to Tide Eyed Iguanas podcast TDI Live. You can find us on what was formerly known as iTunes, and I don't even know what the hell it's known as now. But you can find us on Apple, uh, Google Play, Stitcher. Oh shit. <laughs> Spotify. Else? Spotify. YouTube. We're everywhere. If you um. I don't know what happens if you Google us. Uh, I know if you Google tie-dye, you get hella stuff, but TDI Live might take some time to build still. 
Uh, we record every Wednesday. We release every Thursday. And, uh, yeah, do you all have anything else? Nope. Well, thank you for listening. I'm Matt. And I'm Bill. And I'm Heather. And you just listened to TDI Live. Just like fireworks. Just like fireworks. Thank you for listening to Tide Eyed Iguana's podcast, TDI Live. And don't forget to visit us on the web at www.thetdi.com. Fireworks. Fireworks.